I wish I could keep it this straight all the time. Instead of giving people seasick. Giving people seasick. It's not looking good for the articulation machine. So, um, did they want us to see that that thing with the uh, Anna Hayes thing? Like, because they showed it to us, basically. I mean, they control what you're going to see, you know, as far as uh, if we're going to catch them doing anything. And um, they had to have known, right? Because they would just stop the, uh, you know, the broadcast that they want to do, you know? They have a delay on that shit. It didn't have to get out, is what I'm saying. It's, it's out. I mean, it's, uh, I have it on my um, on the channel here. I don't know how long it'll be up there. I mean, they'll probably... Well, I don't know. You know, they've been leaving me alone lately. I haven't had a problem with them in a while. Um, for, you know, most of the first year, I was always getting stuff. Like, uh, copyright claims. I uh, got the ban for a week. Then I got the uh, thing about it's not suitable for children, even though none of them are set for that anyway. Was that? Oh, this is the last one I got, man. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, the, um, the hell was I talking about? Hey, little doggy, how you doing? Alright, let me let me regain my situation here. What the fuck was I talking about? I know what I was talking about, but what was I on? Uh, I, I, I actually have more cigarettes, but he, I, if he and was going to insist on asking me, I was trying to avoid him for a while, but, you know, you tell him how you ask, and also I'm fucking doing something here right now, you know? He's very important business. So anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm like, oh yeah, they've been leaving me alone. And uh, not not messing with me. So, uh, you know, we'll see if it stays up. It's kind of it's kind of quick. It's just like the very end of um, when they have her on the stretcher. And they're uh, just about to put her in. Now, usually that's the EMT's job. Uh, not the fireman's job. Like, it's the whole thing is weird. They don't look like, you know, other people pointed this out, too, that have experience uh, in that service industry saying um, those people, they don't look, like, legit. You know, they're not dressed the right way. They don't look like first responder people. And they got the yellow fucking AIM suits on. Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. They look like more of a hazmat team. So, uh, before I saw that whole thing... I was just hearing news, you know. I wasn't really following it. Um, I knew about the film she was making, and that's the same reason why they took out uh, Cornell and Bennington. They were working on a film too. So, uh, take a walk down here. So, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's, you know, for them to... To want to take her out, I guess, fits the, the MO. I guess it's still coming out, though, the film. Um, in September, I think it's a Lifetime movie or something. Uh, Girl in Room 13, I think is the name of it. I'm surprised they let it get this far into production as it is. I mean, they, that kind of shit's just not allowed. I don't know how it got as far as it did. But what will probably happen now, I'm thinking, is they'll say out of uh, respect, they they won't like air it or something. So it won't so it won't be out there. But isn't there like a much better way for them to do this? You know, like than than that clusterfuck. And it brings me back to thinking about all right, are how they just getting super incompetent? Were they always super incompetent? Is this a, a Vail Bro, Scale Bro thing? 
where we're seeing this, whereas we wouldn't have seen it before. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. It is creepy though, the way she jumps up like a like a, a zombie person. And they um they had her head covered too, like she was dead, you know. But uh, yeah, the, I, I was just hearing news about it, and you know, she was at first she was dead on the scene. I say I wasn't following it yet. I know all this stuff. She's dead on the scene, and then uh, like she burned up or something, kind of like Paul Walker, uh, who he was a sacrifice to. Uh, and then you heard these reports that she was conscious and talking to people when they were getting her out of the car. And then you see inside the car, and that car ain't burned up. There's a spot that looks like it was hit by a fucking death ray because it looks like molten dried lava or cooled lava. But um, the rest of the car is fucking fine. Well, not fine. It's kind of messy, but it doesn't look like a raging fire that, that burns someone to death. And then, uh, then she's in a coma and then she's taking off life support. Uh, she's clearly alive when uh, whoever that was put her into whatever kind of truck that was disguised as uh, service vehicles, you know. Um, this is a bizarre one. This is a bizarre one. Uh, my first reaction is they want us to see this, right? Because any time... It, it's, it's, it's hard, you know, because they do mess up sometimes. They do fuck up sometimes. A lot more lately. And I know some of them are fuck-ups. So it's like, is this a fuck-up or they want us to see it? But they, they, I think they have some kind of way it, that if something got out like that and they didn't want you to see it, they have a way to suppress it. I would think, like, um, you know, they have a, uh, what do you call those things? On, on the TV side, they have the, the delay, right? I mean, and then the news guy when he sees it sounds completely shocked as if he didn't he didn't know that that was supposed to happen usually those guys kind of understand what's going on I don't know if it was a local affiliate for one of the majors or whatever I didn't, didn't look quite quite at it um, it's probably on the clip that I have on the channel uh, I'm, I'm guessing it, it'll say unless they cut that stuff out to try to yeah I think I think it's real close up on it so that they wouldn't have to worry about having a logo on it from like one of the major news networks. They didn't want to, I, I guess, I'm thinking. I could be making this up, but I think that's what's going on. So if you notice, it looks like she's naked. She's not. She has like a, a sort of a, a tan kind of peach type of top on. And um, her skin, Looks gray, like there was a bit of smoke or it could have been dust or debris. But the way they had her in there, right? They didn't have her fastened in. They just had her zipped up. It's the way she unzips it and like jumps out and then they push her back down. <laughs> I don't know what to think of that, man. I don't think, I don't know what to think of Except they didn't, if they, first of all, to, to get rid of her, uh, there's a lot of different ways you can do that. However, if it is a sacrifice and a ritual, then like all other spells, it has to have certain things that go along with it. So maybe it had to be that street, uh, that method, the way it was done had to be done that way. And then there's the whole gematria thing they do on top of it, which I don't really know a lot about, but uh, the numbers are probably all the way they... Because these spells, numbers, dates, streets, whatever, these are like when a witch is making like a brew or something in a cartoon where she has like a bat wing and an ear of newt. These numbers... And the places or whatever things they have to have in this are parts of the spell or the, the ritual, sacrifice. Um, so it could be that they had to do it that way. 
but God, did they fuck it up. Like, they fucked that one up bad. I was talking the other day about the, uh, the hook there, and I'd watch that, I'd follow that right closely when it happened. And at the beginning, which is um, standard for a lot of these kind of events, they throw a lot of different conflicting information out at you in the beginning. Well, like I was talking about the hook the other day, and they had shooters in the woods and dressed in black, and they were pointing that. Then they had the brother on scene that shows them putting him into the into a squad car. Um, Ryan, his brother, uh, who is Adam's brother, supposed to be. I mean, you know, I I, I think that that Adam dude, he looks like a, this person does not exist. Dot com. If you go there. He doesn't even look as good as that. He, he, he looks like those 9-11 victims pastiches they made. Where, where they like... It was like Photoshop Suite 2000. You know, where they just piece the nose and, and ears from someone else. You know, put them at the Niagara Falls. He just looks... He, he look, doesn't look like a, a person that would be real. And um, never mind a guy that had to carry all about weaponry but anyway this this isn't about that so um yeah i'm the, the, i'm really confused about this one you know my my instinct is to think they wanted us to see it you know because whatever you think it is you always have to think two levels above or two levels ahead or you know it's not just one building they meant to to get the whole neighborhood uh, you know what i mean they always it's always a bigger thing you know this war didn't happen just for this event. The whole war was staged. You know, you always, because that's usually what I find is, um, is, is what happens. It's, there's always a much larger thing around it that uh, you wouldn't think of. And I only started thinking that way when I started uncovering stuff that was like that. I used to be way more into this stuff as far as uh, investigating these kind of things. Because I was still at that time trying to come to terms with the fact that uh, everything's a complete lie. Everything is bullshit. Everything's fake. Everything you see. It. And, you know, people will say, well, what do you mean everything's fake? You mean, like, everything? Well, yes, everything. Everything. It has to be. Because if there was one true thing in the mosaic of bullshit, it would stick out like a sore thumb. It was sick out like a, like even the mosaic thing, the quilt or whatever you think, you know, of all the all the the lie uh, squares that are all you know quilted together. You can try to make you can make it any color, any pattern, the lies, any design you want to try to you know get symmetry. But if you put a true thing in there, it's not gonna look like a different color it's not going to look like a different pattern it's going to look like an empty space yeah i will be go right to it immediately and say hey, there's a hole there that's how drastic it would be if they let one true part uh, exist because the bullshit has to be held up by other bullshit it's the old shit tree um using some mr Leahy shitisms you know that the event is the tree the shit tree the branches on the shit tree are all the news stories magazine articles uh, movies made about the event all the other tertiary stuff that has to do with it that came because of the the tree the branches they keep adding these shit branches on there to obfuscate the tree so that people are no longer talking about the tree itself. They're no longer looking at the tree itself. They're looking at the branches, and they're just, and, you know, they're discussing the branches, knowing that the tree's there. And what it does is, when you're discussing the branches, it says there's a consensus that the tree is real. It's a real tree. Oh, yeah, there's a tree there. So much so that you, you not even, you don't have to discuss that. We're already talking about the. The interview the, the, the family did with this and that in the movie, Mark Wahlberg starring in about it. It's, um, this is how it works. It, it, so for, in order for any of it to work, 
it all has to be bullshit. It all has to be bullshit. Like, but it's hard for people to, to get that concept. It's hard for me to get it. I still don't. You know, it's still instinctually, I, you know, I jumped to uh, thinking, well, no, that's, that has to be real, right? I was, I was having that problem the other night. I was watching one of these 60-minute stories about um, a family that had kept their, their kids uh, inside for like years and of course they were hardcore Christians who quoted the Bible and it was all very related to that uh, just a way to to make uh, people that follow Jesus look fucking crazy right and I was almost sucked in by it I had to stop myself a couple of times and go, no 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 none of this none of this happened because right away you start seeing holes in the story you know the cop his report of first, you know, seeing the, the victims, and not, none of it was passing the smell test. And then the acting from the former, just none of it made sense. But when I first started watching it, I forgot that it's bullshit. And I was almost sucked into it. And, and I had to like stop myself and be like, no, no, this, this isn't real. None of this is real. None of it. Nothing you see on a screen, you know, that is a product to them, uh, is real. None of it. Like people say, like, oh, well, you know, maybe the moon landing didn't happen, but, you know, if you were to go up to the, the space station, and it's like, no, 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 there is no space station. Well, I'm sure they have some kind of satellite. No, there's no satellites. Yeah, but space, yeah, there's no space. There's no such thing as space. It's like you have to, you have to go through all these kind of levels. It's tough, man. It's tough because, I mean, you're programmed like this way since you were born, you know? Programmed uh, since birth, and then you put into a system that the, its only job is to keep you uh, stupid, basically. So you don't really have a shot, you know? A lot of people don't have a shot. But yeah, this shit, that hate thing's a weird one. I don't know what you think about it. I'm gonna discuss it more with some other schizos and see what happens. If anything, you know, pertinent or game changing comes out of it, I'll, I'll talk about it. But I, I, I think that's just gonna remain a mystery there. And by next week or shit, by maybe by tomorrow, people will have forgotten about it and no one will talk about it. And I'm sure those clips are gonna be uh, taken down, you know, if you try to host any of that stuff. The, the, the clips, a lot of them originate from Twitter. Um, the one I got is an edit of one that originated from Twitter. So, yeah, it's just, you know, like I was just saying the other day about the Barcelona thing, I'm, I just don't care. I'm just tired of it all. You know, I know what it is. It's lame. It's like, whatever. You know, they can... I don't, you know, there's other things to think about except their, their retarded games. But is it incompetence? Is it bail bro scale bro? Or do they want us to see it? I don't know. Could be any of those things. Could it be all of them at once? Now that would be interesting. Don't blame the teacher. Blame the school. <laughs> 